So Fantastic Four, this has to be a multiversal Fantastic Four because we have no other, we can't do the, the, they were blipped and they came back in space and now they're appearing mm -hmm. like. Cause we're, we're too far past the blip at this point yeah. as well. And that was kind of a wishy-washy answer anyways, but. Are you saying that each member of the Fantastic Four is from a different universe or are you saying that it's just, them in general. it's just a they, different They universe. are just right. not yeah. from 616. Yeah. Okay. Like yeah. the, like where the Illuminati was, like that's where their Fantastic yeah. Four was or like yeah. where the X-Men universe is from. The whole crew has to be from the multiverse because yeah. the MCU is not set up to handle to them. To handle right them. Uh, yeah. It's too out much. Of nowhere. Too much. Yeah. So Fantastic Four has to be, I think, the most important film heading into the Kang dynasty in terms of kicking off. Like we have to have a structure after the Thunderbolts because Thunderbolts, I believe, ends phase five. Yeah. Fantastic Four has to, mm -hmm. okay, this is exactly where we're going. We need mm -hmm. to All the characters focus on we need to the, have for the, Secret Wars and Kang. Yeah. This has to be the movie. Yeah. we got to treat this like a standalone. So, so is the main villain... Kane or is it I, Dr. Doom? I don't want to introduce Dr. Doom, even though Dr. Doom is in Secret Wars. I think that... I think it's too soon. Yeah. I, There's I, not I, enough time. Could you post credit scene him and then have him show up in Secret Wars? I, I know think that he, Marvel would like to. Yeah. I don't... I, don't I know, know. they're Marvel's... Killian Murphy? <laughs> I know they're listening to Henry the fans. Cavill? But I don't think <laughs> Dr. Doom has a place in Secret Wars, even though he's the main point of Secret Wars. Yeah. There's only a year. They haven't done enough. They haven't done enough. Yeah. He should have been introduced in the beginning yeah, of phase five. He needed more of a setup. If that's what you wanted to do, then you should have started with him instead of Kang. Mm -hmm. you, you you didn't have enough time. It could have still led to Kang later. Yeah. But, but like yeah. they set up Thanos at the end of the first Avengers movie to get him ready for Avengers 3. Mm -hmm. Like that's, you, you don't have time to set up Doom at the start of the phase that he's supposed to be the villain in. It's Maybe he could be an anti-hero type character and then after Secret Wars, he becomes the next villain. He could be somewhere but, in it, but he won't have the same role that he usually does. It's, in Secret yeah, Wars. it's still a week. Yeah. It's weak. You know, it's just it's, not enough. I don't know if you want me to give my idea for getting around Doom. Sure, yeah. We're, we're, because we're sticking with Kang, we don't get the real Doom, but he's dressed like like he's a variant he's the essentially doom, kang he's in doom. doom's outfit he, but he's kang like god kang is doom for the purpose of secret wars because you can't build doom properly enough he has to be the next phase after secret wars mm -hmm. so he has to be there's no so way around getting doom it, in just shoehorning him yeah they would be the aware project. of him somewhere but it would like, be such a shame to just mix those characters into one i know it would but they haven't set it up <laughs> you can't just make doom a variant of kane eh? couldn't just like, do that have they are the characters they are they, but for mcu purposes you'll say that doom is actually a Kane variant. He calls himself a different name. Yeah, that's what I'm. Yeah, that's, yeah, what, yeah, that's what I'm trying to get. Oh, at. Yeah. I thought you were saying it was like. I I Jonathan also thought Major. that you were saying Kang, but like acting like Doom. I understand now. You're right. saying to Kang get, is Doom. Doom. The same way that Victor Timely doesn't call himself Kang, Kang. he is Victor Timely, but he is uh, he is Kang. Victor Von Doom. Yeah. No. Mm. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Same first name. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm getting around the point that. So he, the real Doom has not been established in the MCU. They want to go with Kang. You have to make Doom a Kang variant. I could, the I most could see powerful where you're going now. version yeah. of Kang. Mm -hmm. And then, then you also could have a reason for him being a different actor if yes. they wanted to try and explain it, which I don't think they need to try and explain the I recasting. I think you just go with it. But yeah. Because multiverse is such an easy concept it's, at this point. It's, we've already, the very first things we saw were three different Peter Parkers, like yeah. Yeah. different actors. So it's yeah. not outside of the realm of possibility within yep. this made up world that they looked like different people. And the council of Kangs was so massive that you couldn't really see and there beyond. Was, yeah. The there was a lot front. of Jonathan majors, but there were some that were not him. Yeah. Like there was one or two aliens or whatever. And yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm getting at where doom has he to be. Is, Kang. Yeah. I get it now. I'm following. Yeah. Well, I, it's something I think yeah. that it fits with what they're going for and they get, they get their cake and they eat it too. They, they want to do doom. And they finish out what they're doing with Kang. If Doom is not even a concept at all in the Fantastic Four movie, and it's maybe only something that's thought of way later that the Fantastic Four, once they're established, 
they then deal with Doom. Who, what are, what are we doing so, with the Fantastic Four movie if there's no Doom at all? There was a comic run called The Trial of Reed Richards. And they introduced Galactus in the Heralds of Galactus. Galactus. Why is that not in the <laughs> forefront of my brain? <laughs> and there's, there's parts of it where the Silver Surfer is also there. Wanda is alive and Vision has come to Reed Richards to get his help in order to fix him. So maybe we can bring vision, vision into that kind of point. Something, yeah. mm-hmm. But basically vision Reed, actually had the whole, he always thought about the multiverse. Maybe mm-hmm. he finds this read yeah. in a different multiverse. And that's where the fantastic four come from. He's trying to look for him and Wanda's kids to bring mm-hmm. yeah. back to Wanda, just Reed's like help. Wanda mm-hmm. was trying to look for her kids. Mm-hmm. But yeah. the trial of Reed, he allowed Galactus to live, but Galactus destroyed a world. So they blame Reed for allowing for millions and millions destroying the world. to just uh, because the, he the allowed the Council Galactus, of Reeds, the tribunal. Oh, okay. the living tribunal. The living tribunal. The, the living tribunal. Ah. So the living tribunal is has teleported Reed to their planet because he is the reason why Galactus destroyed the planet of the Skrulls. Mm. So now we can kind of shift have and play. Shift and kind of weave around maybe the celestials we can do that kind of i mean the living way. tribunal was in thor love and thunder right more like an easter egg but it was there but i feel like <laughs> yeah. especially if we're working on trying to tie up loose threads instead of add more of them having the the judging celestials would not be the craziest thing but isn't erisham judging cersei at the moment I feel like you probably could do two things at once. <laughs> yeah. But this, <laughs> is, is, another universe. Universe. this is another multiverse. This is another multiverse. Yeah. Right. Oh, well, Fantastic that, Four is not in 616. That's true. It does and bring in a different question. Another though. point of that comic is the Heralds of Galactus. So we introduce Nova mm-hmm. and we have the Surfer. So Nova is the one who sought out this planet for Galactus because he was dying mm-hmm. in order to feed. But Silver Surfer is not allowed to do due to his Herald abilities. Like he, he can't do it. So he brings them to the Watcher. In order to find Reed, they bring them to the Watcher, so the Watcher can bring them to locate Reed because the Silver Surfer cannot Surfer can use his abilities to yeah. betray to his, his yeah. Yeah. yeah Harold. So this is how we can bring Watcher into live action. And since Watcher has already been introduced, and what if there's a nice little connection there that he's mm-hmm. and he's like, and it's not just like a theoretical. He is literally like canonically causing things to happen. Right. So Surfer is bringing Sue Storm and Johnny to the watcher yes and then during that time in the comic when they're going to find reed we kind of get a little backstory like we get the origins of the fantastic four in kind of a different way so we can kind of maybe see how which gives them their origin, origin story without, without the having movie. to it was like a yeah. two page panel of like ben grimm having that be the movie having that flashback because mm-hmm, yeah. they're you know traveling through space that's like how yeah without having their own movie <laughs> that's how it happens <laughs> yeah and so Lalandra, see, the problem is that Odin is no longer around in MCU, but if we're doing it in another universe. I was going to say, because this yeah. brings in lots of different questions about how these things interact with different universes. So is there a set of celestials per universe? Is there a Valhalla per universe? Or it, do all universal beings go to the same Valhalla? Do all universal... I feel uh, like almost, there's one per universe because Loki yeah. is holding individual strands like yeah. together it's not like they, they don't they didn't already meet like and if there was one single valhalla all the multiverses would already be crossing at all times i mean they do start with it now being an image of the idrisul tree they do start but there was a valhalla roots. before loki did that well i know but so when that one was just a when it was circle. Just a circle. I don't know. I mean, it's, it it could be, but I feel like there had to there would have to be. But it just brings in the per, question, right? For this yeah. story, right? How would it be applied if you're going with this type of logic? Like when they have different movies that have different theories of time travel. Mm-hmm. Like, are you going with branch timelines? Are you going with like Back to the Future type logic? Like, it's just whatever you decide. Then you yeah. gotta kind of go with it. So if you decide in the movie, okay, there's one set of celestials per universe there's one valhalla per universe like you know you establish the rules as you go right, right? i think yeah. each universe is self-contained yeah. you can cross between them but there's nothing shared um between them like otherwise 
then the then Erisham would be judging like them all at the same time, yeah. sort of thing. Like I then Jane would go there and there'd be fifty other Janes uh, who all came from their different true. ones. So true. I think that their 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 individual universe is stacked on top of each other, but they're each single. Yeah, I got you. Amongst themselves. That makes sense. So if Odin is alive in this branch timeline in the book, he gets his vote nullified and he's not allowed to do it because he wants to free Reed, but Galactus is neither evil or good. He's just neutral and he's just a being that exists. Mm -hmm. So they can't say his intentions. He's a universal constant. Yes. And so the end of it, the watcher admits one day Galactus will be put to the test with a planet whose power is greater than that, which then he will be defeated until then the universe shall play out as it should. So then Reed gets freed, but that's just kind of a way to build maybe past Secret Wars or even mix Galactus in with the Celestials. I think Galactus uh, is a great way forward. Yeah, Mm -hmm. It's a great way forward to avoid the Jonathan Majors issue. It's a great way to avoid the lack of doom backstory Mm -hmm. issue. That's definitely a great way forward. Because if you're, you can't, I mean, you have to go either smaller or even bigger. Or huge, yeah. And since we've already had the Eternals and we've seen them in person with Celestials and how big Celestials are, I don't think Galactus will be that far of a... No, yeah, you've already seen that the Erisham, yeah. the Earth is like the size of his head. Yeah, mm-hmm. so and then to we have can introduce heralds as something well. that can eat a planet is not that, I would, it's not out of the realm of things we've already seen. And then seeing the heralds, we'll get into if they want to do a silver server backstory. I knew, mm-hmm. I think there was rumors that they wanted to Oh yeah, do that a, is what they a were TV doing. show or, or some kind of one-off hour yeah? special. Oh, I, I didn't remember that. But I, I was saying, I, well, yeah, because I thought there was a female surf, silver surfer oh, yeah, rumor. Yeah, yeah. rumor so that. I think yeah. they are going yeah. Galactus way anyways. Yeah. So mm-hmm. we can definitely use Fantastic Four to introduce other and then that's, entities. And, but, and because they're not going to kill off Galactus in that, movie yeah they better we're, not we're, well, they, yeah we don't want anyone else but we're also doing the groundwork of laying up future villains mm-hmm. the same way that we're saying they should have been doing with doom we need to do that eventually with other people so right. yeah because technically galactus appears in the secret wars comic book mm-hmm. the, the recent one with the ultimate universe versus so they could definitely introduce him here and then bring him back Later because on. i do think with the secret wars they also have reed and sue's children involved as well so yeah. there's if they want to have all these characters involved with even taking little bits of secret wars they need to have all these characters in place because currently in the trial of reed richards franklin is sick and they're not sure what's wrong with his mutant ability so then we can kind of having all these mm-hmm. woven storylines you know we have the x-men yeah Galactus, there's a lot of stuff that's that has the potential across other people are mutants yeah. as well and then nice, yeah. franklin is heavy in secret wars with galactus so i can see it yeah that's, with franklin's abilities too there's i don't know if you saw the comic where he made galactus his herald no he made he made galactus oh his, his herald yes. <laughs> oh yeah He's an overpowered character. Yeah, because then Secret he Wars, Gaia. he runs and he comes in on Galactus. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can do all that kind of yeah. stuff, but you have to have if they want to bring in the them ahead of time. kids, unless they just want to stick with just the Fantastic Four, because mm-hmm. they Galactus, haven't really gotten that right. Yeah, Galactus yeah, is yeah, an important just character the, to the establish. Four to start. Yeah. yeah, you establish Galactus, you establish the Richards family. You establish that they got a kid. It opens up a lot of doors for yeah, the future. and the heralds and more powerful. Yeah, they, they don't yeah. have to be um, heroes for like, and then have the kids. You can introduce them already having right. Franklin. Like, mm-hmm. So that was my idea for Fantastic Four. If you're not doing Doom, because Kang has to be Doom in mind, then you got to do somebody else. I like it. Timeline, beautiful. Yeah, 